okay my precious jewels welcome back to the jewels to life today we're going to be doing a little diy covering these bins for my pantry okay guys so i bought these bins from ross they were kind of expensive but i kind of like them they have the labels on the side i don't know why you know because it's less space if you turn it like this in the pantry which is what i'm going to do so I bought some things to clip on here. You'll see it. But this little one here was $6.99. And then this bigger one, this is the biggest one. That was $9.99. And it is a little pricey. But as I said, I like these. They're pretty sturdy. And I got them in brown and tan. Because as you know, everything in my house is brown or tan not my choice per se but that's the color my husband prefers so everything seems to go that way um this one is $7.99 so right now what I'm doing is because it's you know there's no bottom well there is a bottom but it's has holes in the bottom so what I'm doing is I bought this this board it's like a thicker board from the dollar store and I'm just cutting out the, the bottom and then I'm going to cover this with um, contact paper. Uh, they didn't have a wide variety at the dollar store with the contact paper so I just picked up a black and white one. You're not really going to see it anyway. But I'm cutting this out and I started using this little knife thing here I picked up from box cutter. There you go that I picked up from the dollar store. And it was working fine, but my measurements were off. So I said, okay, I don't feel like cutting it like that again. So I started using the scissors. Okay, people don't use the scissors because this is what happened. Even though it's gonna be covered, um, you know, that's unnecessary. Use the, the box cutter, jeez. And it will give you a straighter edge. Mine aren't that straight because I guess my vision is off. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to cut out the bottom for each of these. And the, the key is I what I did was I placed the bin. Let me use a tan one because you can see it better. I used a tan one on top of the board and I used a red marker. I don't know why I didn't get white contact, white board. Um, but anyway, so the key is it has a ridge right here. So the bottom is actually going to be bigger when you cut it. So you're going to have to cut it down or move this over to where it sits because you don't really have to cover the entire bottom with the board, but you want to get as close to it as possible. And my dog is trying to get in here. Go, 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 go. Goodbye. Bye, Duchess. Anyway, so I'm going to cut the rest of these out and I'm going to actually um, go ahead and cover the the boards and I'll be back okay folks so what I'm going to do is and I just thought about it I'm going to use a ruler so I can place the ruler down and then I could back up the make it straight so then I could use the knife the box cutter and just go straight along the ruler this will make it much straighter than what I did just now. So I will list all the things that I used in the description box below and no scissors. You can use the scissors to cut the contact paper. And the contact paper I got is the um, self-adhesive one. I'm looking for, oh, I have to get it. But um, I'll let you see. Okay. Let's see if you guys could see me better. Actually, you don't have to really see me. I just want you to see what I'm doing. So, um, this is what's left from the other one, the first board. I did these two already. Okay, so that's it. So those two are done. So you want to save as, use as much, oh yeah, perfect. Well, almost perfect. I could only get one more out of this one. Hang on, hang on. 
uh, nope, cannot quite get to, but yeah, actually, I could if I join them together. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because it's not that serious. Um, it's only a dollar, but guess what? Every dollar counts, so I am going to try to be a little frugal here. So, let's see. Because I'm gonna, I, I'm measuring leaving some a little gap because I had to cut those shave them down to size because you know the bottom you can't really get as close so let's see if I can do it this time you don't have to put a lot of pressure this thing is pretty easy to cut so I'm just gonna use the board before I was using the ruler but hey this is oops and that's not straight but anyway Whoa, that's really not straight. And then it would it would give. I should have did that a little. I don't want to chop up my part. It probably should be on the table, but this is gonna be a. Oh wow. Uh, almost perfect fit, but not quite. Let's see. See, I have a little gap right here, but you know who's gonna really see that? Unless you're just nosy going in my pantry and going through my things, you know? So, wow. Okay, yeah. I could actually get this one out of that. So, that's not bad. I was able to do four out of one board. And that's all right. Let's see if I'm as good as I was, if, or if that was just the look. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, that was just a luck shot. So I'm gonna have to take off just a little bit off this one. So what I'm going to do is use my ruler and I'm just gonna take off a, a half an inch or so. And again, this is something you just have to play with. You can't really mess it up. And then you may have to flip it over to see how it fits. And it's a little bit, I'm going to say, a little wide on this side. And that's because, number one, I did not cut it straight. So let me just take off the back side here, which is kind of difficult. I may have a few slices in my carpet, but uh, we won't tell. Okay, and that fits much better. So that's four down and two more to go. These are the two larger ones that I'm doing now. And here's my face. It's hard to angle the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And I have a table, that a work table, but I really prefer the floor because I could spread everything out. All right, so these are the bigger ones now. And this, yeah, it will work. This is gonna be perfect. Okay, so I have six bins, various sizes. I don't know the sizes. But anyway, so I'm using two boards. So we're gonna leave this one and then again I'm gonna do it a little bit over the edge of the board. Alright. Hopefully this works this time. Alright. Oh, yep, I sure did. Perfect. God, I'm good. Hey, sometimes you have to flatter yourself. You know? And I'm not the most, whatever, artistic, you must say. But, I could do a little something. I am so off, you know? I guess I can't talk and draw 
align at the same time. That was, when I tell you way off, I celebrated too early. Yeah. See that? Bam, bam, bam. And we're not gonna put anything wet in here. Then again, it doesn't really matter because I'll be using, bam, the, this contact paper. It's not the prettiest, but um, it's actually, it is the prettiest that they had in there. I didn't want, they had like a wood grain brown one, but um, I didn't wanna do that. This is where you're gonna need, need your scissors and this is self-adhesive. So. You need a sponge. See, I thought this was peeling stick. Hold on here. Let's check this out here. I better read the direction, huh? Okay, that's not English. Wipe with damp cloth or sponge in mild soap. What? Okay. I don't think we're gonna use this one because I just wanted something to peel and stick. I don't want anything wet. Hold on. Oh no. It was stick. It's sticky. And then whatever won't stick, uh, we're gonna hot glue this bad boy down. So, let's get to work. Let me start with a small one just in case I mess it up. Now, it's quite, it's a, I have two rolls of these, but it's, um, it's a good amount on there. So, we shall see. Don't mind me, I have my pajamas on. Not quite pajamas, but yeah. So, and what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna cover the entire board. I'm just gonna cover one side and just a fold over each side because there's no real sense in wasting the paper to cover the entire board. So, I'm gonna use my scissors and there, there's lines on these, by the way, on the contact paper. Let me see if you can see the lines. So, we don't need a ruler. It doesn't take a genius to cut this straight. So, let's see the best way to do this. I do it like this. Nope, that wastes the paper that way because then I can't do nothing with that. So, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like that, y'all. Like this and like that. I don't know why I'm in a good mood today. Well. I'm in a good mood because life is good. Hey, sometimes you have to tell yourself that even when things are going not going your way, you gotta tell yourself life is good. Everything is good. Don't stress the problem. Whatever problems you're going through, don't stress it. What you stress is the promise that God's given you, that God has given us that everything is gonna be a-okay. I promise you, it works. Give it all to the man upstairs. I'm not going to preach because I'm no preacher. I'm just a believer. Oh, all right, let me hush because um, I can't. Okay, let's, let's try to figure this out. Let's see. The best way to do this. <laughs> Wish I had another set of hands because... As I said, this is trial and error. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, all right, all right, we got it. It, it came off straight. So we're gonna place this in the center. All right, I think that's the center. That's how it's gonna look. Yeah. All right, so let's see how we're gonna fold this. If I do that, then the edge. All right. 
we gonna just do this. And I'm pulling it a little tight because I want a nice tight fit. So, and I have a little gap there, a little crease, but that's all right. And yeah, I probably should have cut this and I'm just seeing it now. Hey, I'm figuring this out. So guess what? The next one will be a-okay. So what I do need to do is, as you see what I'm doing, I am cutting a slit right here. This way it will just fold like that because if I had left that there, it wouldn't fold. So I'm cutting the edges off. Yes. Okay, what the heck happened here? All right, well. I guess I should be folding it over, but anyway. Oh, it peels up, so that's good. Now, yeah, I'm definitely gonna put some hot glue on this because I don't want it to peel up that easily. And because I didn't do it the right way as far as with a damp cloth, so. I am going to add some um, hot glue for some security. If you have a different way to do it, hey, share it with me because I'm going to do some more bins because I'm trying, this is for my pantry. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I'm trying to organize my pantry. Um, which is in shambles right now because everything is in my living room because we did some tile in there and we painted. So, so what I'm gonna do is fold this over, fold it over. All right, all right, I'm a little bit off the edge but then I just folded it over and we are good to go. All right, let's fold that bad boy down. And I'm gonna clip this so we don't have any more hangovers here. I don't care what the bottom looks like really because you're not gonna see it. And the only way I'm gonna see it is if I lift it up. So, we're in the money. And people, please don't tell me, oh, it doesn't match. You should have used a different color because this is what they had, honey bunches. See, that's it. You're not gonna see this anyway when it um, goes in my pantry. And as I said, they put where you put the label right there, but my pantry, I'm going to put it just like this. So you could pull it in and pull it out. Pull it in, pull it out. And let me show you my labels. <clears throat> and I bought these labels. I got these from Michaels. I used my 50% off coupon. No, this is the one I got from Walmart. I'm sorry. Which I'm going to take these back. But the other labels actually are cuter. Yeah, no, I'm not using these. I'm taking these back to Walmart. Sorry, Walmart. But I did get these clothespins. And I'm taking them back from Walmart too. I'm sorry. These are the labels I bought. And they look like that. These are the small mini clothespins. But I'm gonna take these back because I found some better ones at Michael's. So, we going. Okay, so let me put this up so you can see my beautiful face. And people, I don't have any makeup on, so but it's all right. As I said, you're, you're here to see what I'm doing. Not to judge me on my makeup, folks. But anyway, these are the labels I got from Michael's and they have a cute little design and it's chalk. This is the design. So, and then I got these clothespins, but these are gold. I don't know if you can see it, hey. I don't know why people do that, but I'm doing it. Huh. But anyway, so I am, I'm gonna just show you how I'm clipping them on and then I'm gonna finish up the others 
and then you will see my finished product. So, let's see. I'm not gonna do it by the handle, where the handle is, because I wanna be able to pull it in and pull it out. Maybe a little bit, one more down, yeah. Right there. And I'm gonna write whatever is gonna be in these bins. I'm gonna write with, I have a white marker, and that's how it's gonna look. But you can fix this however you wanna do it. You could just do one, one close pin in the middle, you could do it like that, or whatever. I think I like two, two, and we're gonna do it at an angle. Not that they're gonna stay like that, but that's how that's gonna look, okay? So, I am going to finish these, and then I'll be back with the finished products. Okay, guys, so, to make it a little simpler, this is the board, and it's already oops, it's already stuck to the back side. So what I've done is I've cut an angle, 90 degrees angle, at that. Y'all didn't think I know measurements, huh? That's all I know. But anyway, a 90 degree angle, right, on each of the corners. This way, when you fold it. It folds like that. Oh, don't mess up. Oh, it's all right. You won't see that. All right. And let me do this side first. It's, it's hard to do it like this, but I just kind of want to give you guys an idea. So this way, it folds perfectly like that. And there's no gap on the side. See? I guess I could have held it down lower than like that. There you go. And voila. I think this one goes in this one. Yep. Perfect fit every time. I just wanted to show you guys that one. So, Okay, my precious jewels. This is the end product of my six bins. Lovely, especially with the black, that just brings it out. But that's going to be it for now. And it literally took me maybe about a minute to do each, it just took me a little bit longer because I was doing the video. But here are the prices the largest ones were $9.99. That $6.99 was the smallest one, and $7.99 was a medium. They are a little bit pricier, and I know people are saying you could have went to the dollar store, whatever. But these are sturdy, and they're going to go slide under the rack in my pantry. I'm going to do a, a the whole pantry renovation, but these are just little projects I'm doing for my pantry. Um, so the labels I got from Michaels, and it was originally $3.99 right there and I used a 40% off coupon I didn't have a 50% off this time so it made it 256 so not bad and I in turn got a 40% off coupon for the little mini clothespins and they're so cute they're mini they were originally 419 pricey and I paid 268 so not bad the chalk pen I got from Walmart and this was like two I can't remember the exact price but I don't think it was more than three dollars but again this is my end product and I am so proud of myself my first my very first DIY on the Jules to life channel boy tune in because there's more to come Okay guys, thanks for watching and taking the time out of your day to see what I have going on over here. I appreciate every everybody that watches my channel. And again, thanks. And I will leave a list of everything that I used 
for this little project. This is a mini DIY. I know some I've seen people do some extravagant stuff, but this is my mini DIY. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Open up, you open up. Bitch, you won't be me and my. We should be closer than friends. Uh. If you open up, uh. and take that hot road and hop in.